Hello everyone, welcome back to Gaming Toy Time P, and this is another episode of New Holland Reacts to a map. In this one, we have Meadow Grove Farm. So I'll just show you that. It's not full 2x, but there are, I believe... There's 83 fields on this map, so quite a lot of fields, most of them being grass. There are farmyards, as we can see here. Um, dealers, uh, like it's color coded, so if you download this, it's all color coded. So let's explore this map. So we start off at your house, which is another one of those like lone oak houses where you can walk around, see everything. And there is an upstairs. So I'll let you guys explore it. But this is your house and um, you have a garage. Very nice. Uh, back here you have a garden and you do start off with a dog. Um, let's see, um, this property you do not own, but you could buy it. So now from your house to your farm, the farm you started off with, you just head down this road. It's a very quick drive, and this is the entrance, one of the two entrances to your farm. So this is the farm you start off with. Uh, it's a medium-sized cattle farm. Um, we'll walk around this shed. You have to open up both doors, as you can kind of see. So you have to open up one door so that you can, uh, see in here. And the light switch is right there. That turns on those lights and the lights in that shed, too. Uh, this is the main entrance, I would say, because it has the Meadow Grove Farm plate on it. Over here is the cattle farm area and the manure pit. Uh, you just put your feet in there. Uh, and then, I think that's their water, no, that's not their water trough, but it's a detailed. Uh, this little walk area, here's their water trough right here. Uh, slurry pit's also right there. Um, this is not a shed that you can use. Um, this is where, this is milking parlor. This is where you would get your milk at. So it's a little bit of a tight space. So be prepared to go in and out of a tight space. But anyway, it's very well detailed. You can go in here and, yep. Very well done on that. Uh, shed here. Connects with these two. I'm pretty sure these are like the last shed we just saw. There's only one light switch that you use. Let me find the light switch. Light switch is somewhere. Is it over here? Oh, right here. So if you turn that on, I'll turn the lights in there. There is no lights in that shed, so I'll turn the lights on in there. So, and then you have this shed. And over here, you have a NAR shed. So a lot of places, and then if you open up this gate, you have a NAR shed up here. Um... So yeah, that's the main farm, and this is mainly meant for cows, and we'll see what you start off with. So you start off with an Amtrak 1104, um, Case Maximum 115, the Bronze and Super, that pickup truck, trailer, uh, trailer to transport your pallets with, header, uh, disc, cedar, sprayer, uh, mower, tether, wind roller, and picker upper. And then you could sell all that stuff, but I wouldn't. Okay, so now we have that down. Let's go into our flyover zone. There is your silage pits on the farm now. I forgot to mention that. And the fields you start off with. So we start off with the border. We'll sell that so we can get more in doubt. Field 19, field 24, 18 and 17. And I'll figure out what that purple area is. Oh, that's a fill trigger. You can get water there. 21 and 20. So you have start off with a good amount of fields. A lot of these fields are individually or uh, some of them are together. So let's do our flyover. So again, here's your farm. We head down this road. 
Let's head up this. This is a little town area. I think this is just an area where you can place something at. And then we reach this farm. This is just a yard uh, with a silo. Just meant for grain. Or storage. Uh, next, let's head down this road. Over here. This is where you're going to find your dealership at. Uh, it's a Massey Arco dealership. Very well done, detailed. 4D mine. This is actually where they take their pictures at, I believe, for their mods. A uh, little shed over here. If you just need a quick bale storage area. Down here is another area with, like, two sheds and an area. Maybe, I, maybe you could do, like, a little silage area over here. Uh, that's the border in the map. No, it's not. Yeah, that's the border right there. Anyway, ooh, looks like the a road got destroyed there. Uh, this green area is something, but it's a shed. I just think this is, like, in our storage yard. This is the horse area. And again, these birch trees in uh, Seasons, there was a problem with them, I saw. Like, texture issues and stuff. But this is the horse area. We just went over to this green area. Yep. Anyway, uh, keep going up and around. Uh, up here is more town area. This is the pig farm. So it's a large pig farm, and you do have silos here, too. Um, very well done detailed. So if you want a larger pig farm, this is for you. And that will just bring you over to more fields. Um, over here, this is a cell point. This is your BGA. I do think you have to own the land before the BGA. Oh, this is the animal buying station. So that's where you would buy your animals at. And back to here. Now, if we go into the center, this is, uh... Meadow Grove Dairy, wooded areas. So there is some areas if you want to do logging on this map. And black area, I just think this is a Nara Grain Farm area. Blue, uh, I think this blue cyan color over here, this is sheep and chicken. So it's a small farm. Purple, that's where you would sell your wool at. And that's it. So that's the map. Uh, it's a, I've been playing on it. It's a very good map. Just keep this dairy farm. Get a lot of stuff done. Oh, there's an R horse farm right here. Hold on. Let's go over there so I can see it. Here it is. So this is the other farm. The horse farm. I'll double check real quick. There's a lot of farms on this map. And... I'll understand this color code in a second. So, supposedly, uh, so the BGA is marked by a, by a, uh, what color would you consider this? Uh, I would consider that like a bluish gray. Metal Grove Cell Point, uh, is a purplish gray. Pig Farm is this dark ruby red, I would say. Uh, more of like a brownish color for dealers. Storage yards have a, a lime light, light green. Arable yard or farm as a black. Yellow or bale cell point. Uh, the cyan color sheep plus chicken. Purple, like a dark purple wool. A light pink purplish color is water. Meadow Grove uh, area. Like, Metal Grove, I guess, the yards, I would say, are white. That's, we saw those. Dairy Cows is uh, a little bit confusing with the BGA. I think they're actually the same color, but we're going to say this is like a blue, dark grayish. Um, horses are this uh, yellowish tan, brownish. Top Hill stores are green. And Dealer Animal is this uh, red purple. So there you go, it's color coded. I think P is just placeable area. And W means like woods. Is there's W there? This is W. So yeah, there you go. This map I would it's a ten out of ten. Uh I 
I couldn't ask nothing more. It, I love the main farm. I love this dairy farm they give you. So yeah, go download this map if you want a British map. And <clears throat> I think I've said this plenty of times in my videos. If you're one of those people who watch Clark's Farm, you will love this map. There you go. Have a good day.